The smart removal out function can be programmed independent of the smart removal move in, allowing either of the functions to be used separately or together in the program. After the smart removal in function has been programmed and all of the necessary movements and functions required, such as allowing the ejectors forward, the ejectors back, um, those items must be programmed uh, independently of the smart removal functions. When required and ready to exit the mold, Input the smart removal out function by selecting the axis key and selecting the smart removal out tab identified with the arrows up. The first dialog box to appear asks what type of robot is being used and which axis movement should be first away from the mold face. In our instance, the X will retract from the mold face and Y will move up and out of the mold. Select the OK tab and the input box for the information required for smart removal out appears. The takeout position is automatically inputted from the last positions of the X and Y axes in the program. In this case, the smart removal move in takeout position. In the Smart Removal Move Out dialog box, it asks, do we want to have a straight movement from the takeout position of the X axis by itself for a certain distance, known as the Delta X? Select the Delta X box, and if required, tap the box and input in millimeters the distance that X will move backwards away from the mold face without the movement of the Y axis. For example, if we want X to move 30 millimeters by itself prior to Y beginning, beginning its movement out of the mold, we select and input that. Prior to sending the mold signal to reduce the amount of lag time in signal transfer, we can set the mold close signal prior to reaching the mold safety switch by a certain amount in milliseconds. This is done by selecting the Delta T box and inputting via the keypad in milliseconds the amount of time prior to reaching the mold safety switch that the permit mold close signal can be released. If this value is inputted and is too large, the first time you exit the mold, you will have a mold monitoring alarm. This means that you must reduce the amount of milliseconds prior to reaching the S5 switch. The mold safety switch position is automatically inputted. This is the position that the mold safety switch is that the Y axis must be at prior to having the mold close signal go off. The position over the mold is the last position to be taught where the robot has to move and end up after it's exited the mold holding the part. Select the X axis, select edit, and using the sliders, move the robot to the position required when out of the mold. Select OK to input smart removal out into the program. Notice that there is no permit mold close on signal. That's built into the smart removal out. And prior to smart removal out, using vacuum confirmation, if required, you can select the smart mode, which allows the robot to exit the mold and not allow mold to close if using smart removal when part is lost. If required to stop immediately at the time part is lost, do not use smart removal out and the robot will stop in its position in the mold when checking for vacuum confirmation and parts have been lost.